Well, our six first alert team put this graphic together for me. This is what is expected for the temperatures tonight across Iowa at seven o'clock. You see that? That's when the caucuses begin. You have this number and then the one in gray is wind chill. The best one out here is uh, Fort Madison, one degree, 13 below. That's the warmest spot if you want to consider this, but no one in Iowa is really getting a break from the weather tonight. Experts wonder how much voters will brave the frigid weather in order to vote. No doubt the real poll is the actual voting tonight. Well, a professor at Drake University in Des Moines told me that no matter what the polls have set up to this point, and Trump has been leading handily, at the end of the day, everyone has an opponent who isn't even on the ballot. In the Iowa caucuses, every candidate I've always said, has exactly the same opponent. And that opponent's name is expected. Did you do better than expected or worse than expected? So if you were picked to come in first by a mile and you come in first by a mile, that's a dog bites man story. But if you were far back third or fourth, or even came in a close second when nobody expects you to do so, that's the man bites dog story that everybody will cover. So the the uh, the goal, of course, to the tr for the Trump challengers is to do much better than expected. And the concern that the Trump folks will have is to make sure he does not do worse than expected. I almost feel like on that map where you have the candidates listed, I should have expected on there. This is the ninth Iowa caucuses I've covered. Many of them I've been on the ground in Des Moines. It's been brutally cold before, so Jacqueline, Aaron, I think we could be surprised tonight in terms of the turnout. On your side, Brian Mastry, 6 News. All right, thanks for that report, Brian. Meantime, Six is on your side with what Iowans heading to the caucus need to know. We know you're heading out despite the cold temperatures out there. Caucus locations can often change, so make sure to check before you head out. We have a way to check on our website, WWT.com. You'll also need a photo ID, so don't forget, this is because of the Iowa law passed in 2021. And if you plan to register to vote tonight, you'll also need to show proof of address. You can do that with a utility bill, bank statement, or paycheck. Caucuses start exactly at 7, so make sure you arrive early. Iowa Democrats will not be voting in person tonight for their presidential preference. For the first time, their caucuses will be to only discuss party business. Party members can still request presidential preference cards through February 19th. Party leaders say they're hoping this reimagined event will still get people engaged in the process. We're going to try and get the party excited about the upcoming election, which is the most important part about the caucuses. The results of the Democratic presidential nominee votes will not be released until Super Tuesday. That's March 5th. Here in the metro, the rush of ads and campaign stops will be nearly gone after tonight. The next presidential candidate election on the docket is New Hampshire, which holds its primary a week from tomorrow. We've been talking about this. Missouri's caucus is on March 2nd, just ahead of Super Tuesday. Nebraska voters will have to wait until May 14th to voice their presidential preference.